The magicians. The emperor is dead. Long live the king. Blake, how could you be so careless? Accused Dante, his assistant, in his office in the afterlife. I didn't see him, said Blake, then a grim reaper. But he saw you. Not only did he see you, dead, and come back to life, he filmed you and put it on TV. Everyone knows you are one of the living dead now, said Dante. You think I don't know that? said Blake. I've been deposed as the Emperor of the Solar System and they made some ass chicken. The Emperor as the only living member of my family and he's an idiot. Yes, God save the mortals and the Empire, said Lance, Blake's son, in hiding. Now as he had been revealed as a serial killer, Grim Reaper, because he was known as the son of Mortimer, Blake's Reaper form as the serial killer, and everyone knew who Mortimer was. My emperor, a magician, said to the new emperor, Call me the masked chicken. The emperor is Blake, replied the new emperor awkwardly. No, he's dead said the magician. No, he's not, said the new emperor, citing the obvious. The Grim Reaper, they are dead, corrected the magician. I can't rule a line on a page. How can you expect me to rule the solar system, said the new emperor, citing the obvious again. The magician knew it was true. Don't be like that. You can rule the empire. We need you, said the magician. Later at the morgue of a hospital nearby. The emperor was visiting the local coroner. Blake, I could not even cope without your help, said the chicken to the coroner. Like Alexander, the deposed emperor. I understand. The job is a hard job to take, even for me, said Blake. I'm afraid the empire will fall under me, said the nervous chicken. There were always other empires who wanted to take over our empire of the Zodiac. I will have my reapers keep an eye out. For rogue Exorassians. We had a pact of peace with them, but it is seen null and void by some, with me seen as a pretender to the Empire. Said Blake, I had an attempted assassination today. Junior saved me, and three earlier attempts this week. I'm living with Junior now. The attempts in my life are growing more serious, said the chicken. You're a good boy. He'll protect you. Or die trying, said Blake. Yes, he's a good friend, said the chicken. The Lancer's son, Junior. I ask as Emperor now. Is there any way of saving the Empire and me? The chicken added knowing. Thanks. Yes, I dread to try it, though. Said Blake. Is it that bad? Who has to die? Me? Asked the chicken. No. It's asking my son Tempest to help me change the past. I don't know if it's a fixed point in time. That's what scares me, said Blake. Please ask him. I don't know how much longer... I can survive these attempts on my life, pleaded the chicken. I can tell you that you die tomorrow, said the judge of the dead, Blake. I will try, replied Blake. Not long after, the king of the dead 
Blake visited his son in limbo, aka the halls of time, a universe between all times. So, you see, if we don't undo the past, the chicken will die tomorrow, explained the father to the son. True. I saw it before the time. The tempest. You saw all of time in the pool of time. Is this a fixed point in time, Fend? Asked Blake. Yes, but the fixed point is you going back and undoing this, said Tempest. What do I do? You go back and distract the reporter who found your body, preventing him from catching you, performing your unholy second coming, said Tempest. Blake walked out of a wormhole in time, in the past. He saw his body lying soulless in the room where he was discovered. He walked out of the room, dressed as the body was magically so as not to be seen as a double by anyone who had seen him. Before that night, he bumped into the reporter. You clumsy! Stabbed the reporter. What are you doing back here? You are not allowed backstage. Snapped Blake. Shortly after dragging the reporter to the exit of the building and chucking him out, I'll write about this insolence in my paper, I will snapped the insulted reporter. I have no doubt you will, said Blake, with a wry smile, and slammed the door in the face of the reporter. Blake laughed, with that being the fixed point in time. The Emperor was now Blake again, and the chicken would not die, and Blake from the future disappeared. The other Blake was left wondering who posed as him and threw out the reporter who gave him and his show a bad review, oblivious to how close to falling his empire had been.